Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably guess by the state of my face right now, we're doing a foundation review. So today's foundation is a previous release from Tarte, so definitely not new, but it's going on sale. It's on sale right now at Ulta. So I kind of wanted to do a video of if it's on sale, is it still worth picking up? So the foundation we're talking about today is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. So this is the foundation in a glass jar, and it's, uh, like I said, it's definitely not a newer release from Tarte. It came out around the time that the Shape Tape released. So this is the box. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of information on the front. It just gives you the name, and then um, on the back it says um, Double Duty Beauty, which I believe is the line that's only exclusive to Ulta. You cannot buy this at Sephora. So going right into it, the packaging has the same kind of design on the side, excuse my horrend horrendous nails, um, the same kind of packaging on the side as the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and then on the top you've got the reflective fingerprinty kind of lid. Um, you do get one fluid ounce of foundation, and I picked up the shade Porcelain. Um, although this is on sale, I didn't have any problem finding my shade. Usually when foundations go on sale, it's only like select colors or they sell it really quickly and it's hard to find your right shade, but I didn't have a problem at all. So just some highlights on this, just some highlights of this foundation. It says it's supposed to blur pores, have 12 hour wear, be 12 hour wear, be full coverage, and have a natural finish. They say it's for all skin types. It also contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So the original price of this foundation is $39 and it is on sale at Ulta for $27. So... I'm excited. If you like reviews like this for foundations that are going on sale, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Got some cool videos coming up and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Forever 21 was having a buy one get one free sale on their um, sale products, like their clearance products. So picked up this little adorable headband. Lashes may or may not last throughout the day. They're kind of big and intrusive. They are Pure's uh, Diva lashes not the uh actually not the most dramatic of the three pairs that they offered at Ulta so we'll see so I'm going to go ahead and prime with my normal primer the soap and glory one heck of a blot primer I wanted this foundation um since it came out but I just I didn't want to pay $39 for it so I was really excited to see yesterday when I was at Ulta that it was on sale so I happily scooped it up. They had a ton of stuff in there too, like a ton of products. They had a ton of stock, so I'm not worried about, like if I recommend this to you guys, um, I don't think you'll have a problem finding it. Um, like I said, I did find it in the store. Okay, we are primed. So what I'm gonna do with this foundation is going on one side of my face with a brush and the other side with a beauty blender just to see if there's any difference. So for that brush, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush. I like this. It's, oh, it's okay. I need to pick up a good foundation brush. Um, I definitely don't mind this one, but it's not my favorite. Okay, so again, packaging when you open it up. This is a really nice sturdy glass jar. So you have the little protective thing. Um, this is the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade in the collection. So I'm gonna scrape off this excess product here that's all up in this lid. And I'm probably just gonna work from the lid so I don't have to worry about wasting this product. Okay, I'm just gonna set this down. I'm just dipping it right in that lid. Oh, I forgot to say. I have um, combination skin with cystic acne, and as you can see, plenty of acne scarring. I'm on the tail end of a breakout um, that I believe was caused by the Sunday Riley UFO oil. I don't know if my, it's my skin purging or what, but yeah, as you can see, my skin didn't like it. Um, when I'm putting this on, it feels really cooling. I'm gonna bring this down the neck a little bit. And I'm definitely not getting full coverage from this, even with a brush. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff coming through. I definitely prefer to use a beauty blender with a lot of foundations. 
because this is leaving like crazy streak marks. All right, bye bye brush. We are going to the beauty blender. I'm just gonna blend this side out with no product on it just to smooth it out. You know? All right, let's see. Oh my God, that's too much. Oh my God, that's too much. We're gonna go on the second layer on this one. Okay, so we're gonna see how much coverage I get on this side because this is clearly the side of my face that needs it the most. I know it looks like I have too much on right now, but I'm going to smooth it out with the other side of the beauty blender that doesn't have product on it um, to pick up some of the excess. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. The second shade up from this is a Fair Light Neutral, which is my shade in the Clay Stick Foundation from Tarte, but it is not my shade in the Amazonian Clay regular one in the tube. So there is a little bit of inconsistency there. All right, so here's the first layer of foundation. As you can see, it's not full coverage. Um, this side's looking okay, but I didn't have a lot to cover up over here. This is the side where we got all the business and we have light coverage, I would say. Maybe, maybe low medium. So I, even though I put like a huge glob of product over here, so I'm gonna go back again. Um, just on this area right here and really try to build things up. This is looking a little more luminous finish than natural finish so far, but we'll see what happens when it dries down. All right, there's the coverage level in the second layer. Not much better um, at all. So that's what it's looking like with two layers of product on. And forehead, I think, looks good. I don't, I never break out of my forehead, so I don't ever have any like major coverage issues. Um, this side looks pretty good. Um, I don't have a lot of acne scarring over here right at the moment, but over here, I'm definitely going to have to do some concealing. I'm going to take like a smidge more and really give this a shot. <laughs> okay, so this is about three layers of product in this area of my skin. I'm not going to put any more on that area, but it's it's not caking up, but it's not layering very well. Um, like, it's not providing any more coverage, really. So, there's that. I'm going to leave it at that. This is, I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the lighter shade, which is fair, and it is really, really light. Um, so, if you are a very, very fair person, then that's a good shade match. Um... I don't like this concealer for under the eyes. I find that it creases pretty badly, um, but I do really like it for spot concealing. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just covering up that entire portion of my face and a little bit over here. And I'm gonna use a different concealer for my under eyes. Okay, so here's the coverage we have with the Shape Tape blended onto that part of my face. Looks a little better. Um, for my under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer in the shade one. I really, really like this concealer a lot. Just comes in a little baby pot. I got this, um, they gave it to me as a sample actually from Sephora. And this is a Real Techniques um, deluxe crease brush that I like to use for under my eyes. Okay, so the concealer blended out just fine over top of the foundation, no issues at all there. Looking pretty good. All right, so to set my face, I'm going to go in. I usually go in with my Physicians Formula Talc-Free Mineral Wear Powder, um, but I have discovered a new favorite powder. Oh my God, I love this powder. I love it. And I picked it up after I had posted the video about the Too Faced collection. I ended up returning the Peach Blur Powder that I used. It didn't make much of a difference in my skin and uh, I ended up exchanging it for this one and holy crap, go buy this. This is the Peach Perfect Loose Mattifying Setting Powder. This is fantastic. It's just, it's so nice. It goes on the skin beautifully. It sets everything. Every time I open this jar, powder comes up and I can taste it. It has a very intense taste. I like that it has this little like windowy thing. Um, and I'm going to use my Ego Tools it's not labeled Nico Tools Powder Brush, just to set my face. I really, really have been enjoying this powder. Okay, so here is the foundation with the mattifying powder on it. It definitely took away a lot of the shine, which I wanted. I, I'm combo, I have combination skin, so I definitely like a more matte finish. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with the coverage on this foundation. 
Um, I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, the rest of my makeup is on. Um, just to take you through it really quickly, eyes are the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Really like that. Um, highlight is, uh, this is the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. Um, mine's broken. Um, I mixed these two shades for the highlight today. Um, bronzer is this bronzer from the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi palette. Don't really like this bronzer. Um, I really had to kind of dig into it to get any sort of pigment. And Tarte uh, blush is Tarte's Party. Um, it's the birthday gift that Sephora is giving out. That's what it looks like. Really nice on the face. Um, and lips are Maybelline's 655 Daringly Nude. And then I set my face with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. So I'm not happy with the foundation already. Um, my products, my powder products blended just fine on there. No problems there. Um, I find, I think this foundation shade's a little bit light. Um, I'm looking pretty ghostly, I think, but I was able to kind of warm things up with my bronzer. Um, I'm going to take you guys throughout my day. I'm going to go do some stuff. I'm going to meet a friend for lunch. Um, we'll see if he's interested in being on camera or not. Um, if you don't see him, he said no. Um, so I'm going to give this a, a good wear and we're going to see if, uh, we're going to see how it wears. If I get oily throughout the day or anything like that. Definitely not liking the coverage in this area. I mean, it, it's not getting cakey or anything. Um, it doesn't look so bad, uh, maybe a little bit caked up around my nose, but you can, you can still see there's a lot of stuff coming through over here. Um, forehead looks fine, but you can just see there's, there's some stuff, there's some stuff happening. So we're going to, I'm going to take you guys throughout my day and let's see if this foundation is any good. <laughs> so I'm in the car with my friend James and he's going to give me his honest opinions on how my foundation looks. Uh, I think it looks really great. Yeah, I mean it covers everything really well and uh, You think so? Yeah, it's got like a nice glossy sheen. No, right that's my there. highlighter. Yeah, why well, know that? Look at like my foundation You're talking to somebody who doesn't really know the difference between <laughs> Does it look bad? Does my face look bad? No, it looks great. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, no, it looks fine. I don't like the coverage like over here I can still see like my acne spots and stuff. I guess so. I I, I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. All right, so it's 2.30 in the afternoon, so the foundation's been on for four hours, and I think it's looking exactly the same as when I put it on. I'm not oily at all, and I think that has to do with the Too Faced powder. Um, it's not breaking up anywhere. I'm still not happy with this area of my face, um, but I think that it, I think it looks pretty good. The lashes stayed on for now, so we'll see if they make it the rest of the night. But yeah, so far, no problems at all. Um, it's wearing just fine, looks fine. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's about 4.30 in the afternoon now, so I've had this foundation on since around 10.30, and it looks really, really good. This is good lighting, so you can kind of like see the texture of my skin and stuff. Um, I'm not oily at all. Um, I'm still really, really matte. It still looks good. Um, it hasn't broken down anywhere. Let me lean closer. Um, it's not breaking down anywhere like around my nose or my forehead or anything. It's not really creasing. We got like a little bit of creasing and like my smile lines and stuff, but that's normal for me. Um, looking in the mirror I've got up here, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. it. It definitely looks good. I think that has a lot to do with the powder that I used. Um, the Too Faced Mattifying Powder is really good. Um, but yeah, the foundation's still intact. So I'll check in with you guys at the end of the night, but so far it's doing really well. Hey guys, so it's 9.30, it's the end of the night for me, I just got back from work and I'm taking a look at this foundation and I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's not breaking up anywhere um, around like my nose area or anything. Um, it has worn off a little bit on my chin but I've been kind of like touching my chin there. I'm a little bit oily on my forehead but it's definitely nothing like it usually is so I give this foundation a thumbs up I know I wasn't like thrilled with it earlier in the day when I first put it on because the coverage isn't that fantastic you can still see a lot of stuff coming through but um, I will definitely wear this on days where I don't need as much coverage when these spots kind of heal and start to fade a little bit um, it's definitely a foundation I would reach for with this powder on top of it I think that's the key is the Too Faced powder Really, really like that. So I would give this foundation a go. I would definitely pick it up. It's worth the sale price. Probably not the full price, but definitely worth the sale price. So if you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.